Ayete, togo zani nove togo. Ombet. Something just hit me now. And I don't know how to ungena it, but let's let's find a corner here. So I'm quoted a verse at the sins of the fathers shall be visited upon the, the sons, or the sins of the parents shall be visited upon the children, you know. Um, and one thing that comes to mind immediately there, I'm like, Mustan, this, this is talking to genetics too. It also speaks to the language of genetics as well. In what sense? Now, the Sintu practitioner, let me speak in my context. The Mgoma, by the Mkolo, the Mgoma will um Shola, you know, divine and then my to Shola Guvelinda by eighty. Eh guno kokwako onga salanga gashe and because anga salanga gashe manje maga vela guwe then u umoshis in tozako. So, guzo mele uti upate lo koko, you know. So, in translation. Um, the seer will say, here's a, an ancestor that is coming through and this ancestor is not in a good space or in a good uh, vibration or they're not being received in a, in, a, in, a, in a proper vibration or whatever the case is or frequency, you know. And uh, that being the case, when they come into your space, then they tend to disturb your natural frequency. So it's almost like an interference now in your own personal frequency. Now, when that frequency is now introduced into yours, then it introduces new anomalies. It introduces new dynamics. And when you cannot keep up with these dynamics, then we, you would go now and see a seer, and a seer will give you this kind of a prophecy, you know. And many who don't understand would like to say, "I, yazi, I, gonje, la boko kwe nu, bazo shale ba funa loko na loko, bazo shale ba kala na loko na loko, ne shabe lo lez na lez na lez na lez." And and I'm like. Here's a scripture as a as an anointed priest myself, you know, that says the sins of the father shall be visited upon the children, you know, once upon a time in the storyline of Christianity in its history, you know, because um, we cannot look at things in isolation, these guys. We have to look at the whole picture, you know, Um because I know many times as Christians we would want to go into the whole doctrine of grace uh, and that the old law does not abide and we are saying that is a total misinterpretation because if you listen to the laws you will understand that these are pointing to universal laws these are universal principles they've just been written in a way for the layman as it were and these are one of these things where I'm saying I've just drawn these two parallels for you you know where on the one hand, Yahweh was saying this to the children of Israel. And on the other hand, we have had this as a culture, as a tradition, you know, where we are saying now a seer will receive messages like that. And then I'm saying, without going into the politics of whether this is a Christian thing or a Sintu thing, you know, but let us look at the principal teaching behind it, you know, and that principal teaching, Yiole Eti now. This is speaking to genetics. This is speaking to genetics where um, nowadays, especially, you know, um, with the advent of all these diseases, as it complicated that people live on medication half their lives, you know. Um, 
just goes to inform you where now a person will have a disease, a teaser, you know, or illness, a teaser. And then Babuza would okay, who who has this particular history, or there will be that history taking aspect in terms of your consultation with a doctor or hospital or clinic, you know, or any practitioner for that matter. There will be that aspect of history taking and that history taking um to those who have gone through the studies, they will know what certain information uh means and 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 and, and what it holds in terms of possibilities in terms of your own health you know so we are saying now these are some of the things that um um we are linked to you know you cannot fight them uh, in, in in terms of uh, genetic makeup at a fundamental point without the complications of technology and all that just at a fundamental point you know where we are saying now you there are things that our genes inform us of, you know, there are things that our gene, this data, you know, it's been proven, Uti, like one little strand in our DNA holds trillions of data information, you know, from around us. So as an intelligence that is, <clears throat> excuse me, on some other, other, other level of technology, you know, so considered alien <laughs> so so we are saying that these scriptures are pointing to an aspect of um what we are saying is genetics where we are saying now because now when the african spiritualist will come to the aspect as amatos you must also understand what they are also reading into dna via amatabo you know i i, I like how other people will put it Uti. Uh, you are going to an x-ray, you know, and to some extent it is true, you know, uh, uh, flow x-rays as they would put it, you know. Mm -hmm. We are trying to look at the picture behind um, the hidden walls, as it were, and when we are saying now, when a gogo, in interpretation now, when they will say Mkulu is coming in and Mkulu is coming in and they're Ulimele and when they are coming, they are coming as a violent being or whatever the case may be. We are saying now, because now in the in the in the quantum understanding, in the in the holistic look at the DNA, we understand Uguti different timelines uh, hold different experiences you just have to look at your own self Uguti. there are certain things certain experiences that were so fundamental that they they register you know actually everything registers but there's these ones that stand out that register in your soul so or they, they register in that uh, frequency of dna at that level of of biology you know so where we are saying now the, these leave a certain imprint in the in the in the dna coding or in the dna information we are going to see in Tanzania so when such events happen it causes the collective dna to 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 have certain glitches as it were so now when a a, a, a sangoma now will say to you know kumele ukuthi uyenza umsebenzi othize othize so that kuzokwa ugogo azokwazi ukuthi aphole in essence where these people are speaking to in terms of the genetic language you understand it's at that point where they are pointing out would you know listen uh, there are certain imbalances in terms of the template within uh, dna and these imbalances are causing uh, whatever it is that you guys are seeing as a manifestation out here as a stressor so now for you to rectify those energies you understand now you will require you know where now in others in, in in nowadays these things are the things that are get are getting done in a lab you know under microscopes and all of those things but as a fundamental teaching we understood what DNA carries over, that information in the DNA can manifest itself as an illness or as a particular feature uh, in the grandchildren. You know, even if it's five generations later, they will come. You look like your grand, great, great, great grandfather and you're like, yo, you know, I, what are you a reincarnation of that person? You know, those kind of things. You're going to know this is DNA. 
information towards I'm called recoding itself at different points in time in the collective soul of the family. So now when <clears throat> the Mgoma now speaks at those levels, understand Uti, this is a doctor now speaking at those levels of, 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 of genetics. You understand? Obviously, the craft has become quite complicated, Namlanje. Not even complicated, but quite vast and open, you know, with uh, uh, the technologies, Assassina, you know, in terms of just going down into the DNA. But we, we always read it from the etheric space, you understand? And understanding what that thing has an effect. That, that whatever actions that are being done in the present moment or a certain past moment in the in the ancient past or recent past is also information that is carried through into the next generations whether you want to believe or not believe in that thing uh, it does not matter young Susisa. your child will carry certain features that are yours you understand whether you pray them away or not you, you get what i'm saying and that is the power of genetics young Susisa. so now as energetic workers we read it from the etheric as aspect that's why it's an x-ray it divination here to or to you know diagnosis you know we are reading from the etheric aspect which you know there are certain energetic imbalances Young Zuzisa, that are now manifesting themselves as these particular conditions that are affecting you at a personal level, at a uh, group level, and at, at a community level, expanding outward from yourself. Young Zuzisa, in Dresden, So I just wanted to bring that understanding. You know, Uti now. Uh, this is for, for, from the indigenous aspect where we would say, and you don't realize, Uti, this person is pointing you, Uti, girl or guy, you have the ability right now to recode, if you want to put it like that, you know, to, to, to fix a glitch in the, in the matrix of the family. But as it came to you, it came as a gogo or an mkulu or a relative or whoever within the tribe who came with a certain skull or, you know, a cry out for help, you know, you know in the bigger scope of things. These are opportunities to heal. These are opportunities to rectify, to codify. So that now we can also understand some of the practices. You know, like we were not always about Uklava, and I will not stop emphasizing this point. You know, um, all the way to cows and all these other things. That is not where the science is at only. You know. So I hope you got to understand me um, in this um, verse, you know. Um Lasi Kazakona Uguti. When Mgoma gives that level of diagnosis, I will speak from my, my corner, Bantanabaga Kok. I will speak at my priestly corner as time goes, you know, but I just want to speak at this point, young Tola, because there's always been this perception, Yoguti, there is no science behind Izintuzenzo Izangoma. There's no science, there's no real knowledge. Everything is about the spirit, everything is about Umoya doing what what you can't know. Behind the Moya, there's actually a tangible and a congruent and logical and uh, uh, very deeply thought and evolved um, consciousness that is imprinting itself and giving information that may affect today even to generations coming in the, in the, in the future, as it were. So now, <clears throat> I hope this clears some things for you. Understand, Uti, now you are called. You are called now to play your part, as it were. Bye, Ete. Bantona Baga Koko. Ombed. Tawwe.